Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about latanoprast. What is this drug latanoprast? So latanoprast is a prostaglandin F2 alpha analog. Here we can identify the suffix as oprost where the prost indicates is a prostaglandin and O indicates it is ophthalmic. So latanoprast is an ophthalmic prostaglandin. We have few of the drugs with similar suffix such as bimetoprost, travoprost, all these are having the suffix oprost and they are used for ophthalmic purpose. But we have another drug carboprost, even it is having the suffix oprost, but this drug is not used for ophthalmic purpose. This drug carboprost is used to prevent postpartum hemorrhage in the patients. So with the exception of carboprost, the other drugs latanoprost, bimetoprost and travoprost, all these are ophthalmic prostaglandins used in the treatment of glaucoma. So today in this video we are going to discuss about this latanoprost, how this drug acts, what are the important precautions, side effects, clinical uses we will discuss in this video. Now what is the use of this latanoprost? Since this is an ophthalmic prostaglandin, this drug can be used in the treatment of open angle glaucoma OAG. In this open angle glaucoma the intraocular pressure is going to be raised greater than 21 millimeter of mercury which results in some reduced vision, blurred vision, some blind spots in the peripheral vision and nausea can be observed in the patients. So in such conditions latinoprost can be given which reduce the intraocular pressure by increase the drainage of aqueous humor. Similarly, this drug can also be indicated in the treatment of ocular hypertension where the intraocular pressure is going to be raised within the anterior chamber of the eye and again IOP is greater than 21 millimeter of mercury resulting in some eye pain, blurred vision and if it is untreated it can lead to the, some loss of vision. So these two conditions which are associated with raised intraocular pressure can be treated by latanoprost as this drug is going to increase the drainage of aqueous humor, thereby reduce the intraocular pressure. Now let us see the chemical nature of this drug. So this is the structure of latanoprost and here we can identify the OH groups at 9th and 11th position which indicates that it is a prostaglandin F2 analog. And this drug is available as a pro drug and here we can identify an ester functionality. This is nothing but isopropyl ester. When this isopropyl ester is hydrolyzed, it gives the free acid which acts as active metabolite. So latanoprost is a prodrug which is converted into latanoprostic acid. Now let us see how this drug acts. So within the eye, this is the ciliary muscle which is going to connect with the lens through the suspending ligaments. Now under normal conditions, the ciliary muscle can secrete the aqueous humor which is responsible for lubrication of the lens but this aqueous humor should be drained in order to control the pressure within the eye. Now here we can observe the trabecular meshwork which is connected with a canal that is nothing but canal of sclem through which aqueous humor can be drained out of the eye. Now under normal conditions this aqueous humor can be drained through the canal of sclem but when the lens is going to bulge the iris is going to move which may block this drainage but still this aqueous humor can drain through this canal of sclem. Sometimes this drainage pathway is going to be blocked which produce narrow angle glaucoma but in the open angle glaucoma the lens is normal and iris is not blocking the pathway of aqueous humor but still there is a block in the trabecular meshwork which results in the decreased drainage of the aqueous humor. In such conditions, latinoprost can be given, which can act on the FP receptors, which are expressed on the epithelium of ciliary muscle. Now, latinoprost can bind to these FP receptors, which results in the increased flow of aqueous humor. So, aqueous humor can be more drained through the canal of sclem. So, as the aqueous humor is drained out, the intraocular pressure is going to be reduced, resulting in the relief from glaucoma as well as ocular hypertension. What are the precautions? One of the important precautions of latinoprost is related with the eye. This drug can produce iris pigmentation. So suppose this is the normal iris 
which is having no pigmentation but melanin is one of the pigment which can be deposited in this iris by the use of latinoprost. The melanin deposits can be slowly accumulated within the iris and if it is not controlled it can produce a complete pigmentation of the iris. But this is a reversible side effect that can be observed with the latinoprost. Whenever the drug is going to be stopped again the pigmentation can be reduced but care should be taken in order to monitor any pigmentation of the iris after use of latinoprost. Similarly, this drug can produce eyelash changes. So, this is the normal eye but after use of latinoprost it can increase the length of eyelashes so the length of eyelash may be increased even the thickness of eyelashes can be increased and this drug can also increase the pigmentation of the eyelids so melanin pigmentation can be increased on the eyelid and uneven growth of eyelashes can also be observed with this latinoprost. Fortunately, again this side effect is reversible. So, whenever this drug is going to be stopped, these effects can be minimized. Similarly, latinoprost can also increase the intraocular inflammation. So, within the eye, it can produce inflammation resulting in the redness of the cornea. So, it can produce some iritis, uveitis. So, care should be taken to monitor any inflammation within the anterior chamber of the eye and it can also produce some macular edema, the swelling of the macula and finally it can also produce viral infections such as herpetic keratitis which is produced by herpes simplex infection. Now let us see the side effects of latinoprost. Many of these side effects are related to the local side effects. So it can produce stinging after the administration of eye drops, burning sensation, some itching, foreign body sensation within the eye. It can also produce some blurred vision and iris pigmentation. Apart from these local side effects, we can also observe eyelid pain, eyelid erythema, swelling of the eyelids, some increased tearing and systemic side effects such as muscle pain, respiratory tract infections such as cold or influenza and hypersensitive reactions like skin rashes can be observed with this latinoprost. How it is given? This drug is given as ophthalmic solution at a strength of 50 microgram per ml and this drug should be administered to the eye one drop in eye once daily in the evening. So that's about this latinoprost which is a prostaglandin F2 alpha analog which is an ophthalmic prostaglandin analog. So we can easily identify the suffix oprost which indicates this drug is used for ophthalmic purpose. We have similar drugs like bimetoprost, travoprost, but carboprost even having the suffix oprost, it is not used for ophthalmic purpose. It is used to prevent postpartum hemorrhage after the delivery. Latinoprost is a prodrug and it is available as ester form, which is hydrolyzed in vivo to produce latinoprostic acid, which is the active metabolite. And this drug can act on the FP receptors expressed on epithelium of ciliary muscle which increase the drainage of aqueous humor. This drug mainly produce iris pigmentation, increased growth of eyelashes, increased thickness, pigmentation of the eyelids. So care should be taken to monitor these changes which are again reversible and they can be restored after stopping of the drug. And this drug can also produce intraocular inflammation, macular edema and even herpes simplex infection in the eye. This drug produce local side effects such as stinging, burning, itching, redness of the eye and blurred vision. And this drug is available as ophthalmic solution which should be administered as one drop into the eye once daily in the evening. And this drug is contraindicated in hypersensitive reactions and it can show some drug interaction with few of the preservatives like the thiomersol. So case should be taken not to mix other eye drop medications with this latinoprost. So that's about this drug. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.